Hey everybody, this beautiful 1937 bobber just walked in my door at 3.30 this morning. The gentleman brought it to me and I paid him what they asked for. So we're going to take the camera and go up real close, show you the bike, and I'm going to talk about it as we go over it. So again, it's a 1937. We have the correct frame, correct oil tank, correct oil lines, correct tranny, cylinders down, the motor's correct. The heads and carburetor are off a 3839 style, so it's got a four bolt instead of a two bolt M5. Correct tanks, correct seat. The rear fender is a narrow strap, but it doesn't have the butterfly, so the rear fender came off a later bike. Gas caps are era truck shop special. So I'm going to take this bike over to Stan on Saturday and we're going to pull the Speedo off. And he's putting together a Speedo just like this. It's all rebuilt for the bike. I'm not going to show the motor numbers because I don't have a title on it yet. But we got the right fork. You got your little narrow braces here. Right fork. Right headlight bracket. This is a 4041 handlebar lever, which is unfortunately broken. Rare, very rare handlebar lever. Nice little dent in the tank, probably when fell over one time. Broke that. Right narrow clutch. That missing the square floorboards. It's got the right four fin barrels. So my surmise of the bike is this, and this is standard bobber, this is how they were built. They were wrecked bikes. That's how you bobbed them. You wrecked a fender, cut it off. You wrecked another fender, you cut it off, and they became bobbers. So I think that this bike got hit from the rear, because the rear wheel has been replaced, including the step hub, but it still has the right, correct front hub, step hub. And how come it doesn't have the butterfly rear fender? You had little butterfly things, what they called underneath here and up in here. So <clears throat> the uh, the accident happened probably around 41, 42. There's no other reason to have replaced the brake handle, especially with this two-year only perch. So they rebent the handlebars, made it bobber style, put a little headlight and a little tail light on it, and it's got crush marks here on the front leg so it, it hit something and now whether this front wheel came with it or it's just a wheel they found there's no way to know that and it's got a pan head uh, air cleaner on it so they got rid of the early rocker arms it's uh, 1300 and something so it had open rocker arms and they just instead of enclosing the early heads they just put on the later heads they probably were cheap at the junkyard you know so, <clears throat> junkyard special. I would be amazed if this is not matching motor numbers. I mean, except for the heads, it's all 37. Oil pump, lifters, push rod tubes. So I haven't dropped the skid plate. I haven't even looked to see if there's a skid plate. I imagine there is. And uh, it's a beautiful bike. It's exactly what everybody wishes they could find. Whole front brakes all 37. Yeah, very, very cool bike. Well, good project for somebody. Who mm, knows? Maybe I'll get it together. Look at that. Got all the gauges and everything. Wow. Just so cool. Mm. The early ignition. Wow. Such a cool machine. Well, but, uh, you know, obviously needs work. <laughs> so that's that. That, that was my uh, 3.30 in the morning surprise. Up all night. So we'll see you guys in the next video. If you find this old stuff in Granddaddy's garage, in the barn, whatever, please call me. 
My email is huntingharleys at gmail.com, huntingharleys at gmail.com, huntingharleys at gmail.com. And the phone number, 661-904-8512. That's 661-904-8512, 661-904-8512. Eight five one two six six one nine zero four eight five one two. Give me a call or send me a text. I got blank, blank, blank. This was in Granddaddy's garage. Whole family didn't even know he had it. Yeah, or actually the barn they said. And they unburied all the crap in the barn, and this was underneath. There's a lot of bikes like that out there, and they're coming. Granddaddies are dying. So call me. Send me an email. If I don't reply immediately on the email, I did not get it. Call me. Send me a text. Bye-bye.